Hello, hello. Uh, just a quick uh, report here, and uh, it's about a paper we just published, or a report we just published, and it's a small report on the Little Ruto eruption from summer last year. Now science is lagging behind the volcanic events on the Reykjans Peninsula right now, so uh, obviously it takes some time to work through all the rocks and data and things like that. But a quick note on our new report, so I'll just uh, bring it up here now. And uh, this is our uh, report. And actually, let me show you, it's published in the Czech Polar Report uh, because it was led by Lukas, my colleague from the uh, Czech Academy of Sciences and myself, Torres there, and several other colleagues from the Czech Republic as well as from Iceland. And it's a short report. It's on the Little Ruta eruption of the Fakradals Fjatl fires, the sequence of eruptions, the Icelanders call a sequence of eruptions fires. So now we also deal with the Sunuka fires right now. But this is going back to the Fagradals Fjatl ones. And let me show you the article. Here it is. So it's a short article, as I said, uh, just a few pages. But uh, you can read the details if you like. So I'd like to just run you through the figures mainly. So let's zoom in a little bit. So we start off. This is the Geldinger Dahlia, the 21 eruptives, the Mera Dahlia from 22, and now the Little Ruto one from 23. And this is in this part of the Reykjans Peninsula. The new eruptions from the Svarts Engi system around uh, Sundnuka is here in a green. And uh, we don't had. We don't have samples of that yet in this article, but we are processing them right now. And uh, this is what we did. We uh, went there during the eruption, and here's a satellite image from uh, Copernicus. And uh, there you see the eruption and the eruption plume that goes off there. Uh, Keflavik Airport is up there. So it's a bit away and Reykjavik is up there. But uh, if you fly in, uh, you actually either fly just above the cloud or you fly behind into Keflavik. So there was no issue for the air traffic. So now this was the a little route to a cone. This is a July image. And uh, then later during the eruption, uh, it looked like this. So this whole area here was filled with a lava pond. Early in the eruption, this was open ground. You could walk there actually, not too close because there was, uh, of course, lava spilling out. And there is one of these fresh lava blobs that just spilled out. But then the side of the uh, cone broke and uh, lava was spilling out no longer to the south, but uh, to the west. And then this new pond formed, drowning this entire area here in lava. So this is the lava advancing, the Little Ruto uh, lava ad advancing into the Meradali area. And the substrate here is 2021 lava, and this is the 23 lava. There's no 22 lava in this photo. So what else can we show here? Yeah, and this is how we sampled. We have these fancy space suits. They are very useful for protection, of course. And then you have a high titanium steel rod, and uh, this allows you to sample them. And there's a bucket, and there the sample goes in, and then it's quenched. Here we are at the furthest um, extent of the lavas. This bit here is the furthest extent. And here we see uh, the actual fissure. So the, there's a crack in the ground and the lava was oozing out along this fissure. And this is me with a gas mask because it was not a very good time. You see some gas coming out here as well. Uh, there we have... Uh, the fissure, so I'm pointing at it. And this is a sample, and here we have big plagioclases in there, also some olivine. So and the plagioclase means that the rock is a bit more evolved. So what else is in our report? We have some data here, and here's an SEM image. And uh, here we have the mineralogy. This is 100 microns for scale, olivine, plagioclase. And we also have some pyroxene in there. Not so much, but that's not visible here. And uh, we analyzed mainly olivine in this report or for this report. Here we have gallium and scandium uh, over manganese and uh, zinc. And here we show the Reykjans volcanic belt data. Here we show Geldinger Dahlia in gray and uh, Mera Dahlia in blue and Little Ruto here. And the Little Ruto uh, samples fall somewhere in between the previous two eruptions. So it implies that it's not a completely new magma that is actually connected to the eruptions of 21 and 22. 
And uh, let's have a look here. This is a summary plot of nickel in olivine versus uh, scandium in olivine in parts per million. And here we have the Geldinger Dahlia ones, here the Mera Dahlia ones, and here in red, the new data, the Little root ones. And uh, here we have ocean island basalts, plume fed ones. Here we have arc basalts, and this is mantle, upper mantle, morb type olivine. And as you can see, the Icelandic samples overlap with the ocean island basalt, the OIB suite, not with a regular upper mantle spreading related uh, mantle olivines that are common at mid-ocean ridges. So that's the key essence of the report, and that's what we're saying here. And of course, there's a few references here at the end. So I'll put the link um, into, the, um, into the text box below. If you like, you can download the article. It's free to download and uh, maybe have a look. And I hope you found this of interest. Okay, thank you very much and all the very best. Bye-bye.